Hey all, this is Urs, and welcome back to our huger TSL with Lenyon as we keep pushing on the Tsar's lands, the Tsar's lands, the Khan's lands. I am going to be the Tsar. No, I'm not going to be the Tsar because I'm a revolutionary and there are no Tsars. I'm confused. Let's go kill some stuff. But we just took Tobolsk. That is, that is a major achievement here. It is unlikely that the Swordsman and the uh, Composite there both will be able to take Tobolsk. What? Oh, dude, you're killing my flow. Jesus. All right. Now, thank you. Let me repeat. It is unlikely that the Swordsman and the Composite will be able to take Tobolsk both, but we shall see. We shall see. And he may just go after one of my catapults because he's a dick. Uh, that is highly, highly possible. He will die if he does that, but, you know, that's never stopped him from doing that before. <laughs> Goths are still doing Gothic things, trying to beat up the Scots. Scots are doing Scottish things, kicking the crap out of Bynada a little bit. Um, Jala is spreading his religion. I'm really kind of happy with Hinduism, so I hope that doesn't spread too far. We're almost in medieval era in seven turns. On turn 203, I told you this game would be freaking epic. We're not even medieval yet. It's turned 203. I love it. I love it. It is It is really a long journey. It's, it's been pretty good so far. Not sure as far as overall game balance goes, but uh, as far as epic grandeur feeling of just like, wow, living through the ages, I think this, uh, this particular setup has been pretty cool. All right. So, building Circus Maximus. Oh, we have um, horsemen available. Ah, I really want some horsemen, actually. It'll be a good, quick deployment force against anything that comes up. And this guy has a crap ton of horsemen. And all these cities are so strong. I'm going to, again, do the same situation, be in the same situation if I want to take them down. Though I will have some decent firing positions from all these. And this is within three range. The Citadel's going to be a pain. We can deal with that, though. We can run up here and pillage it with a horse unit. But I still need horse units. Do I need the Circus Maximus? I might as well build it. Uh, why not? Caravansary Temple, who cares? Let's do a horseman here. I would have been able to have a stable, but then he stole my horses, that prick. So, horsemen there for now. Uh, we still have only one trade out available because we don't have sailing. That's all right. Minor details. Now, however, what is this? I hate this invisible unit crap. That's not, like, cool, dude. Not cool, bro. Where is our, that's your logistics guy there. We need to get a logistics guy, like, in here, dear, because we got to start killing this stuff. Then our triple rangers will be on the sides. And all will be good with the world. Are you a triple ranger? You are. All right, you get up here. Since obviously we're going to be needing you. Can you finally... Oh, you can. Oh, good. Let's see, can we freaking finally please kill that general? It's such a pain. Which we will do gladly. Hi, general, sir. Goodbye, general, sir. Sir. All right. Uh, you can heal up. You won't get killed in one shot by a swordsman. But it probably will be close. This is really dangerous right now for our poor composite here, but I think he'll be okay with the defense bonus. Why don't you just fortify, and if he does anything stupid, kill him. And that guy's almost pretty good too, so the main issue then is dealing with this composite. Yeah, I want you in the city. You're in a bad way, friend. You need to heal, but I don't want to put this guy out to a risky position. If I go here, there could be like a horseman or swordsman ready to beat me in the face. I don't think I'll be able to kill this guy in one go, so that's not safe. Nothing is safe anymore. I'm losing too many uh, melee units, but it's alright. I can always buy another one. Anyway, what am I talking about? Why am I hemming and hawing about this? Oh yeah, because I don't want everything to die and go to hell on me in a one quick hand basket. Uh, stay here for now. I need I need to protect this precious one. He is less precious. He's a spearman. Uh, if he were a pike, I'd probably say, yeah, save him more, but that's better. <sighs> Let's scare this guy a little bit. He's got strategic resource penalty too, so he's pretty much boned. Uh, let's surround him a bit. He can't really escape anywhere. But he could try and get out into this forest. If he goes here, then I can't actually touch him because I'd have to cross rivers to do so. Uh, he actually may be able to escape, which is smart of him, honestly. How can I prevent that? If he runs here, then he's out of my reach, sort of. Sort of, kind of, sort of. Um, let's put some composites here as bait because they're not really going to be the ones doing the, doing the, doing the nasty to the city. It'll be someone else. Uh, General, sir, come up here. Good. Um, I think I need to start picking at the spearman a little bit. Need some more experience on this guy. If I have another plus one ranger, it'll be nice. This isn't in the range of the city? No, good. Keep picking at that guy. I wish he would come up after I shot him in the face. Can we fix this? Hold on. I think we can fix this. That's going to be... Bah, bah. Yeah, that's how we fix it. I knew I remembered something about this game at some point, maybe. <laughs> it's like, 
Why are you watching this idiot again? I don't know. Maybe he's half entertaining. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's what you tell yourselves every day, right? Like, I don't understand. Why do we care? <laughs> I really want this repeat uh, repaired, but it's near Surgut, so you just repair that for now. We can bait one of these assholes in. It'll be fine. Adopting a policy. Good. All right. Cheaper policies and a free golden age, basically extending our current golden age. Don't mind if I do. It makes our next policy faster, which is nice. What happened here? First English go Chin is first. Oh, really? Who's he influential with? Holy crap, really? Where are you? Uh, wait, hold on. We're gonna get the Chin here. It's probably Tonga, honestly. Yeah, it's Tonga. Okay, that, they met them before me, so that's really not much, not much there. City connection, city connection. Yes, we got more money. We're at 130 gold a turn. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. <laughs> You're kicking ass with money this game, which is nice. All right, let's bring you guys up a little further. Get ready to do cool stuff with life. What else? Um, yeah, you have pikemen. I'll get there in six turns. It'll be fine. Do this. Uh, we're ready and... We're actually really pretty much ready to fight if the Goths go against us. We have pretty strong... Why are you wasting my money? Get in there. We have pretty strong units everywhere. We're about to get a couple horsemen out, which will be nice sooner rather than later. Another lumber mill. Excellent. Simibirsk really turning into a center of industry and culture and all that good stuff. Can we... Yeah. Let's get up there and start making these... Um... General, you're still okay there? Nah, composite. Khalid al Ibn al Walid. Is fine. I need to go up here and start making these camps into camps again. So yeah, we killed the general. That was really the most important thing. Brussels canceled the quest. No, Brussels! No, Leon! Uh, what happened? Wait, Leon. Leon? You wanted me to give you protection and it'll give me rep? Sure. Hey. Cool. 20. That didn't really do quite as much as I would like, but that's alright. I'm gonna stop trying to pronounce that guy's name. Um, come up this way, Caddy Pulti, because we may need you to break Chingitura down. You're doing fine. We'll probably need you to break Chingitura down. Chingitura! It sounds like one of those really cool, um, Bangra kind of songs, right? That's, that sounds like a refrain from there. Yeah. <laughs> Cultural sensitivity showing. No, I just, I'm just, I don't speak any of the languages, but I think it sounds cool. Anyway, that's what I wanted for my empire. That's the only reason. Sounds cool. Um, Iskar, how are we doing? Good. We need to keep growing. For that, we need to repair farms. Repair farms. Build more farms. Uh, Warcraft 3 moments. Good times! Anyway, why are you here? Tire. Seriously, bro. What is this? I don't even. Okay, so our military is now colossal compared to his, I think. Um, just watch. He brings out like five swordsmen and kills all my composites. It, it could happen. It could happen. Do you? Uh, what's he going to do? I want to see where this guy runs. Where do you run? Where do you run to, young one? Scotland's still kicking ass. Scotland's still kicking ass. Inverness holds. Inverness stands. How is our con friend doing? Is he going to bring out something nasty for me to play with? Probably. If he's in the medieval already, he likely is going to have pikes soon. But he's not upgrading his spearmen to pikes, so maybe he does not indeed have that technology yet. And this is good. This is good. Conan, I'm going to finish this road as well, which is going to be a huge help to bring troops northward if we need to. Uh, it's going to be a lot of logistics here, but I'm going to leave the road network as it is, and it's cost me a little money, but as you can tell, I'm doing okay on cash, and just having the ability to reinforce these cities quickly is going to be important. Okay, so, step one, kill more dudes. Um, step two, be a cool spearman. Step three, profit? I don't know. Let's kill this guy. Yeah, it's good. You need to heal up, bucko, because you're in a bit of a bad way. Kill him. Kill him! EX still land. All right, there's a road here. Yes, there is. Uh, should I make the camps first? Yeah, probably. And then I'll make the road to Tobolsk. All right, so now we got to start placing our triple rangers where we want them to. One is going to be here to fire at Chimgitura. One's going to be here to fire at Chimgitura. Uh, um, what's the quickest way to get them over the river? Probably to put them where the spearmen is. Spearman's like, I want to heal soon. Um, all right, go here. Come here. Uh, you, come here. Yes, maybe? Yeah, it's gonna have to be like that. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on Oh, nothing in front of Chimitura. Excellent, I like this. This is better already. Uh, we could just keep the... Yeah, we'll probably put the logistics feller up here if we need to. Keep him anywhere. Alright, this is officially 
unnecessary now, the northern garrison, since Simon Buick is done. So let's start moving the troops south. We can always use a reinforcement. Spearmen, stay there. Save me some money. Uh, General, start moving forward with the rest of our troops. And we're really, really crushing down hard. I'm going to probably reallocate these generals a little bit. Uh, one to Kostlik in case something comes up this way. But so far, so good, folks. So far, so good. We can buy another another religious building. Can we not? Oh, you're at war with Riga. Ah, that's right. You are at war with Riga because the Garamantes dowed you. But Riga's just going to fall to you. So that's kind of not so good right now. That kind of sucks. Um, all right. Well, that sucks. What was I doing? Ah, yes. Uh, religious building. Didn't I buy a pagoda here already? I did. I can buy one somewhere else? Really? Where the hell can I buy one? What the hell? Uh, no, I'm not purchasing a digger. No, I can't actually buy anything. No, I guess I can buy an inquisitor. Oh, yeah. I really want one of those right now. No, no I'm fine. If I annex Kashlik, and I think it's going to be a matter of when I annex Kashlik. Probably now, <laughs> honestly. Now that I'm annexing Kosh, oh, the Chin Ma is here. It's a horsey, <laughs> Ma. Um, let's go. Might need to honestly annex this. Let's annex it. Uh, I want to be able to build military out of here. It's fine. I have happiness to spare right now. Uh, walls first, yes. Then monument, courthouse, buy a pagoda, stoneworks, barracks. Probably a stable. Excellent. Now I have more horses, which is nice from taking these lands after the Goth stole mine. <sighs> Irritations abound. Okay. And that's probably fine. I'll leave Tobolsk as a puppet, most likely. I'll be stealing all the good uh, tiles with Iskar and Simibirsk anyway. Chimgitura, I'm not sure. I doubt there's going to be much coming through here, so I'll probably leave Chimgitura alone. I'm hoping the Chin are thinking about attacking um, the Khan and not me, because that would just be an irritation and a half to have to deal with that crap also, but whatever. We'll make do. Uh, so one goes here, one goes here. One can come here if need be. So let's bring one of the caddies up this way. You're the really good catapult. Maybe I shouldn't get you killed. Maybe I should just leave you. Now, nah, but you're going to need to support your brothers in arms pretty soon. So why don't you go this way? And we'll try to get Chimgitura down with minimum of casualties. But no guarantees with the way this thing's been going. Good. What up, homie? Uh, you are still here, aren't you? Still here, eh? Um, let's see... You're a good spearman. Why is there a spearman in the city? That's a damn good question. I don't want a spearman there. I want a shooty type unit in there. All right, good. Caddy, stay because there will be hell to pay in a second. You're fine. What else? Worker. Yep, repair, repair, repair. Do the good deed. You hang out there for now. We'll probably need to replace a frontliner with you at some point. And I don't want to kill my spearman off because, you know, they do become... Com uh, not composites. They do become those tasty, tasty pikes soon, and that'll be an upgrade to Swordsman, actually, it's by about two strength points, so yay. Jim Gitura, what's up? Can you do something, or he's going to sit there like an idiot? He's going to sit there like an idiot, probably. Adjacent friendly unit bonus. Okay, so there's going to be something either here or here. I'm not sure which one, actually, at this point. Architectura, let's go, buddy, come on. I, need, I have a city to take. Let's hurry up. Hurry this up, bro. If you heal instantly, I will seriously kill you. How is the Scots doing? Oh, Bayara still going down. Excellent. Come on. Come on. Come on, little one. Come on. Oh, you're fortifying. Oh, you're going to die. Vatican City's new ally, whom? The Chin has replaced the Garamantes. Okay, well, that's interesting. This looks awfully like an invasion force against me. I am not amused. This is my not freaking amused face. <laughs> Seriously, bro. This is not what I need right now. All right. Well, it looks like the Chin maybe. I, I really do have the neighbors from freaking hell, don't I? Just ah. How dare you? I'm killing the Khan. How dare you plot against me? You fool. All right. Ugh. Come for your soul. Uh. Well, let's sit here then, because we're apparently gonna need to deal with the Chin in a second. Damn it. All right. We're gonna kill you. And we're going to need to actually kill him, unfortunately. Sorry, but your death will aid my conquest. Apologies. Quite, 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 quite. Um, let's do it like that. We can start pinging the city, but I want my... This dude. I want my this dude in there. Let's put you out here so you can control more tiles if stuff steps out. 
Triple Ranger's gonna go here out of the city's range. Logistics guy's gonna go here. You're all set, more or less. You can finally heal up. We have another catapult. Oh, excellent. Um, let's bring you... Well, we're gonna need you at a front somewhere. Let's put you in Iskar. Uh, let's bring, actually, this catapult into Iskar. Because I do think the Chin are coming, and that's gonna be really annoying. Like, really, really annoying. All right. You, yeah, you're gonna be ready to support your buddies there. So that'll be one of these days. Okay, cool. This general needs to roll down this way. I don't see a horse that can possibly get me from there, so this is okay, leaving the general open for a turn. But let's just be safe about this. So road and camp are both gonna be important here. So let's get the road first, then the camp. <sighs> what do we want you to do with you? Let's do a horseman with you. Thank you. Some quick units uh, to be able to support my troops if I do get into a nasty dow. And you are going to be ready to destroy stuff if need be, and also be peaking vision. This guy can be peaking vision for me now. Excellent. Uh, you finally finished that. Let's get another lumber mill underway. You are ready to defend the empire because inevitably that dow is going to come. Tyre, I'm still a little worried about because the, I mean the Garmonti still have decent influence, but if the Chin are buying up city states like that, it could get bad. Uh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Lock that up. What's the stacked unit? Oh, you. That's right. Catapult. Roll this way. You need to heal up. Yep. Next turn. Okay, if there's a Chin Dao this turn, I'm going to be furious. I'm just hoping they're trying to get to the Khan's lands and not thinking of downing me. Is he actually, like, pissed at me? Early concerns. Oh, they hate Warmongers. So early concerns may be enough to have him down me. Let's see. Oh, waiting for it. Oh, no, no. Okay. But this is this is definitely something. How did you get a chariot archer? You probably got it from a city state because the Toma is your replacement. Ma, uh, it basically serves like a general uh, to everything else. So that's an, another irritation. But he's got some mobile horse troops, which is irritating. We should be right. Harappa and Sumer and Naharan. So we should. I mean, we're all friends here, so I don't really understand why he'd want to get all pissed at me. But, you know, we're going to have to deal with him at some point. And I really hope the Gothic problem will be dealt with in the West by other people. Hopefully, the Garmantes are making some inroads as well. But I'm not sure. Is this Garmante land? Who owns this? Actually, who does own this? What color is that? Blue and green? And this looks kind of like Garmantes. It should be orange and greenish, but all right. Huh. Okay, well, we'll figure this out soon enough. Chimikitura, now, finally. Ready to start sieging. That's all right. Well, if we could do this to make this faster, we should probably just roll in a couple catapults and make this a lot easier on ourselves. Um, yeah, probably. Let's just get this done because if I do have to deal with the chin, it's gonna be it's gonna be bad. All right, let's go this way. These are gonna be more or less sacrificial catapults, so if I can just use the ones that are probably gonna die anyway and not the ones that already have a volley promotion, I'll be happier. All right, let's do it. One, two, three, like in that direction. Uh, yeah, so one, two, three, cool. There's probably gonna be something there that kills it, but we'll figure it out. Let's see, is there something there that kills it? No, there's not actually, oh, that's nice. Chimigitura, yeah, I don't wanna lose this veteran, veteran, veteran unit. And we do need some defense down here. So let's bring this general up this way. I probably should have moved this general up so these guys got the bonus for the attack, but that's all right. Stay there. You need to pull away the hell back, obviously. General's going to go this way to defend A, my catapults, and B, defend Kashlik in case the Chin do decide to move in. Stay there. You know what? I'm just going to set these guys up. Uh, I'm going to set this guy up here because that's where the Chin hammer is going to fall, if anywhere. Go that way. You quite, can't quite hit the city, but that's all right. We'll get enough units to do that soon. Three turns until pikes, and that's good. We have walls in Kashlik now. It's not that strong of a city yet, but we'll get there. Oh, let's rearrange a little bit now that we can actually control it. All right, reset, and let's see. Yes, 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 yep. I don't need that much money right now, but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah we could just do this. Yeah, I'm doing okay on cash. This is fine. Worker, not much space for you right now. So I need to repair that, but maybe at war with the Chin soon, so I want to repair that. Uh, and you're going to come back. 
You're okay. So make another lumber mill. You are gonna make another lumber mill. Yep, it's not riverine, so that's fine. You are ready to do stuff. I'll move them in when we're looking like the city's gonna be down pretty quick. Hey, you're finally healed up, good. Banwali, okay, so you really are spamming some cities out here too. So hopefully the Chinese will take offense to that, but it looks like they're coming after me next. Because he's the strongest one on the map, and I'm rapidly killing things and getting stronger. And he, he probably thinks he can kill me. Uh, he can try. He can definitely try, but it is not likely to succeed. This stuff I need to start getting over the river too, though. Hey, Spearman, who'd never healed. <laughs> You're going to continue that, that train of existence. Fine. What else? Oh, you. Yeah, repair this. Do it. Who's this? Oh, that's a Chin ally as well. Hmm, this could be a little hairy. Next turn. No Chin Dao, please. Uh, I probably should maybe try to pay off Harappa to attack this guy, but Harappa's pretty peaceful, and the Chin probably has designs on me, so there's no likely way I can actually interfere with this annoying little Dao I might be getting right now. Good. Delayed for a turn, but this is definitely coming. It, it still could be coming for the Khan, because the AI does move very badly. Prince of Harappa. Okay, so the Sumerian Harappan alliance is still good. I'm probably going to liberate um, Eridu for him, not because I want him to get that much stronger, but I don't want him to be killed by the Goths at their leisure. And he's not strong. He's at two cities right now. Uh, so yeah, I think I need to do that for him. Barnet, enemy composite Bowman and the Chingitura city. What is this? Spearman. Of course it is. Son of a bitch! Alright, we'll deal with it. Okay, so that catapult's almost gone, but we at least have some flexibility in what we do. Alright, move up. Um, let's go. More at Chingitura. Alright, you got... Oh, you got promoted. Wow, I'd be ashamed to lose you then, wouldn't it? We should start knocking the city down, though. That's what these catapults are made to do. Good. This needs to die. And I can't do this alone. Oh, I can hit you. That's good. But it's a little dangerous. Because, well, city and bombardment equal dead dead me, more or less. How hard do we push in here? You know what? You got promoted, but let's just use that to our advantage. Congratulations, you got promoted. Let's kill the city with you. It's probably going to die, but it'll take some heat off the rest of our troops. Uh, I want another troop there, but again, the Tyrian spearmen just... Really being... No, I can't put a troop there because Sugrut's going to take it apart. Uh, Spearman is really annoying. Oh, good. At least we killed that. So Chimitura is more or less down. Maybe next turn? I think so. So let's talk to the Chinese and make sure they're not trying to down us. What brings you here today? Hi, friend. You're not really that friendly. Trade. You want to dow somebody. You want to dow Harappa, maybe. He will Dao Harappa, and that'll be a good way to keep those two at it. He wants a lot for that, though. Let's talk to the Harappans. Do you want to Dao the Qin? Uh, do you want to Dao the Qin? No. Okay, so we can get the Qin to Dao Harappa. Uh, let's do that. Clear war on Harappa to keep you off my back. That's a lot of stuff he wants from me for that. That is a lot of stuff. I don't want to give iron. I don't really want to give horses. Does he actually value any of these? Hold on, let's check. Maybe it's not that much. Nope. He doesn't need iron. He does want horses. So it's really going to be about... 11 GPT. Open borders, he probably doesn't value that much. About 12. Oh, he's... I'm asking... What am I... God, I'm stupid sometimes. <laughs> uh, my money. 12-ish? Okay, 13... I'm doing okay on gold. My strategic's not so much. There we go. Cool. So, those two are at it. Uh, and hopefully, these cities will hold up pretty well. I think they will. Jin Yang is not strong. The main attacks are probably going to come on his major cities, but going through his mountain passage is going to end up weakening the Chinese, which I'm really hoping is going to happen. So, perfect. Uh, at least it'll distract him a little bit. Now, he's got a Gru. Good. Just where I want you to be, so that's fine. Yeah, the last thing I need to do is, is, is a Chinese Dao for myself when I'm trying to deal with the Khan. Circus done. Let's get another horseman out. I want to use these. Get some... Hey, get some veterancy on these guys before we need to change them into knights. If I go all in, it should be all right. This spearman's going to start taking a 
apart my catapults, though. There's nothing inside the city as well right now, I think. Yeah. So that's nice. Um... I'm trying to decide what to do with this. I need melee units ready to take the city. Since the Qindao is probably not coming, let's... How far can you move? Eh, you can't move that far because of that freaking river bullshit. All right, why don't you heal up? This is where I would love to have a horseman handy. Oh, he's coming out in two, coming out in two, coming out in three. Yeah, they're coming out pretty quick, but not as fast as I'd like. That spearman is going to do a lot of work, I'm afraid, but if he comes here, he's pretty much dead. Let's set you up this way because that spearman attacks, that catapult will be ready to deal with him easily. Uh, done, done. What else? You. Oh, did you not fire yet? Wow, okay. I need, okay, so Chimgitura is dead, more or less. Uh, with the catapults and all this firing at once, I think I can take it. Yeah, I think I can. So we're going to wait for a turn. We're going to get the swordsman out there, a spearman out here, and just take Chimgitura next turn. Yeah, I think I can do it. I have enough power to, to pull this off. Uh, but if I don't, then I'm going to be in a lot of pain. Ah, you know what? Screw it. Let's go. You are almost a pikeman. Almost. Not quite. Um, stay there. You are not going to stay there because you're going to get killed. <laughs> what else happened? Who else needs... You need orders. Yeah. Lumber mill, bro. I told you. Do it. Sitting bull is fine. Our general coverage looks good. Yep. Everyone's getting covered, so sitting bull stay there. Worker. Nice. Finish that road so we can actually start moving troops a little faster. Um, you're fine. I'm probably going to move this spearman out. While well, I move this guy back into the city. Good. Okay, so we got here and we noticed that Harappa's settling like crazy. So that's fine. We saw everything. Let me just sneak out the last little bit here on the land bridge and see what's up. Um, Alright, you're still here, so let's bring you up this way. Um, you're going to be replacing your brethren soon, so let's just keep you ready. Keep you ready. Next turn. What? What? Repair. Nothing's going to get you, dude. Just go. Just go. Go, 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 go. Fight the Khan. Let's see what actually happens here. I might lose both of these catapults, actually, so this might be a little annoying. Because if he pushes the spear in, it's going to hurt. I, I could see that happening. If he moves that bowman in, and, yeah, this might hurt a little more, but it's all right. It's just catapults. I can crank them out like seven a turn. It's It's fine. It's fine. I just want this war to be over so I can focus on another target. Like, likely the Goths while they're busy with the Scots. And that's going to be a long war because it's going to be a lot of military. How are you guys doing? Inverness Bayara still kind of there, but not quite. Khan, come on. There we go. Okay, only one down. And he decided to try and kill the one thing I could take a city. Smart. Um, but again, that's all right. That catapult was most definitely one of the expendable ones. All right, so now we should be able to take the city. No probs. No probskis. Uh, let's do this. Okay, we got an extra composite in here, which is irritating, but that's all right. Well, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, good. Major damage is there. Yep, okay, this is taken officially. Good. Run in. Ping it. Run in, ping it to nil. And finally, at long last, it looks like the Khan is about to fall. His last city, the end is near. It is indeed. You know it better than I, because you can taste it in your bones. Your armies have deserted you, and you are on the run. Give me that city. It's, it's, it really is a sigh of relief. It really is a sigh of relief. We have finally pushed the demon back. Um, the thing that has been a thorn in our side since the beginning of the game, the first Dao we ever hit, and an opportunistic Dao when we were Daoed by our alleged friend. Holy crap, that's a lot of generals. Can you please stop spamming these? Because this is going to frickin' citadel all the way to my capital, and that's not acceptable. These are all going to be citadels, by the way. What an asswipe. This is going to be really annoying to break all these citadels and break Victoria Akum. But, and he took Riga. Why not? Why not? Oh, God, he's getting bigger. These wars are supposed to make him weaker, but he's getting stronger. Damn it. All right. Um, well, what can I say? 
The Gothic problem really is becoming a problem. The Eastern Front is doing fine. I'm not worried about them right now. I'll leave a, a token garrison here, but most of our forces are going to go west because this needs to be dealt with. Victoriacum especially. If these he keeps spamming citadels here, I'm going to be very angry, and we're going to really start suffering in our capital's growth potential if you let them happen. If we let this happen, if we take Victoriacum, we have a, his empire more or less cut in half. His reinforcements will be difficult. I may strike at Eridu first, liberate this, come back, take Victoriacum, uh, and use this as a beachhead for the rest of his military. Hopefully, he'll be dropping stuff in the water, which would make this easier to hold. And we'll see if we can take Arhemar. We may be able to, with some smart usage of our three-range uh, crossbows, I mean, composite bows. We'll see. Uh, but that is the plan right now. We need to deal with the Goths, and we need to deal with them now. And it's going to be a war on a lot of fronts. It's going to be a rough war. But I think we're ready for it. And he, he dropped a Turd city right here. It's even called Turda. Yeah, this is fun. He's, this is, yeah, the Goths are just getting ridiculous. Let me, can we just count how many cities this guy has? Because this is just ludicrous. Hey, buddy. Let's talk real quick. How many cities you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Plus his capital is sixteen cities. I mean, I'm sitting on a nice total of, gee, I don't know, nine. But we're going to have to deal with him. And that is next. I think that indeed is next. Let the Easterners fight each other. Let the Indians fight the Chinese. That'll be keeping them all head back. The Khan is now a non-factor. We will push forward, but let us make peace with the man who has been st struggling against us this whole time. I don't want Surgut. I want, just give me, give me money in an embassy or something. This will be fine. I, I accept that. You can keep your two cities so you don't die as hard. And with that, folks, I'll call it a day. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode as we finally put the con to bed. But again, as always, a new power rises in the West. The Goths are pushing on more and more and pushing on our borders with these damn citadels, and we will not let that stand. That crap is not acceptable. I have been Urson, and we will push them back. Till that time, till next time, till then.